like this. Shout out to my man, Earl Spitz, you know, I'm a big fan of him and everything. But I always felt like Terry Cross was going to dominate that fight because Earl Spitz has a style. Earl Spitz has a style that is tailor made for uh, 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 a traditional boxer, meaning like he's not the awkward about it. And Terrence Crawford is such a technically sound counter puncher, and, and, and people don't under, underestimate his, his power. He has great power. I always knew that it's nothing awkward about Earl Smith. So it's, it's, it's not like him fighting the Sean Porter. Sean Porter dunk low, throw wild punches from different angles, and I felt like just because Earl Smith is a traditional type of style. It'd be easy for a chair to the big one. Did it make it look like that? I didn't know. No, no, let, let me let me let me correct this. <laughs> Never thought it was gonna be that easy, but I always thought uh chair was gonna win. Didn't you spar Crawford before? Huh? Didn't you spar Crawford before? I sparred Crawford before, yeah. We did we did two rounds out in Colorado, man. How, how was it getting in the ring with him? Hey look man, he told me he said he said, I don't care how big you are, I ain't at 154, but you can't back me up like you were doing a 154 pound. That's how we ended up sparring, man. So we stayed in the middle ring with Tony Tony. We did two rounds, man. He went in too much shape, so he didn't want to do more rounds than that. But he just did that. We sat in the middle of the ring, and we went head to head. Is he stronger than he looks? Huh? Is he a lot stronger than he looks? Hell yeah, he a lot stronger than he looks. Yeah, man. And I ain't going to lie, just low, I couldn't push his little ass back either. <laughs> Depends on how much punishment he's taking that. If he looks spectacular, it's gonna be my real opinion on what's gonna happen with him and Crawford. But right now, I think Jamel ain't got nothing to do with Canelo. He won't get stopped. I think it's too much of a jump for him. Canelo one of the hardest punches at that at 168, and he moved up from 154. He stopped him at 175. He could beat that 175. I don't think no 154 Jamel Charlo got nothing for Canelo. And him coming up a loss going out of fight here in Crawford. I get punished by Terrence Crawford too, but he got a better chance for Terrence Crawford than Canelo to me. Um, just the last question for me. Um, do you think it's actually possible to get an in the way versus Javante Davis fight, or that's just a little bit too much, man? Uh, <laughs> hey, look, Javante got bricks. All right, if the bricks are hot to man, okay? Your man, in a way, is, is the most skillful, one of the pound for pound fighters out there. But when he get hit by the bricks, it's a different story, so. Javante might not be as active as, as a lot of people would like him to be lately, but there's no need for him to because all it takes is one. And once he lands on that chin, it's over with. So it can, it can look either way how it's going. He's like a wild dad in big land. No matter how it's looking, once he lands that one shot, it's over. It's a skill level underrated. He's one of the guys that's mixing the power. Yeah. With the right after the fight, it's a sick track. For sure. He's, it's, like, it's like that's what makes it even more better than, 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 we, than we're speaking on because he not he not throwing punches and bunches and one punch land. He's waiting for that one shot. That that's that's tougher to do than just throw a whole bunch, bunch of punches and land something. Uh, of course everybody like to see the shit because I want to see the fight, you know what I mean? But to be honest with you, if I was Crawford, there's so much other ways to make history. He would be, like he said, making a fight happen for Jamal in it. There wouldn't be nothing for Crawford to do for the legacy he's trying to build. But we still want to see the fight. I think it'll be a tougher fight than Earl Spence only because of the offense that Jamal in his hands. He's an offensive monster. We're going to see how good the defense is when he fights somebody with just as much skill than him. But I think he got a better offense than Terry Crawford. So he'll be, I mean, Earl Spence will be in the land more than Earl Spence did against Terry Crawford. So what do you say to fans and pundits that say that Jerron Henderson is ready for the team? What do I say to fans? Fans are endless. What do I say to them? Yeah. I mean, he, like they say, he got to prove himself. I'm not saying he's not ready talent-wise. I'm just saying that it don't make as much sense for Terrence Crawford more than doing what the fans like. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I think this. He, he, he's at a level where he'd be competitive enough to... It ain't going to be no easy win for Crawford. It ain't going to, and it's not to take away from Terrence, uh, Earl Smith. 
I believe it's gonna be a weight type of fight. Only because he's got a more explosive offense. It's gonna be harder for him to counter and get out of the way of the punches than Earl Spence was. He's the guy that comes forward, he throws his punches with a lot of uh, pop behind it, but it's not a lot of speed, not a lot of explosive. It's more of a work output. You know what I mean? Javon, Javon Ennis Jones is like a, a snap with it. It's, it's hard to get out of the way. I can't explain it. It's going to be a harder fight. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.